Good morning, everyone. I have three speculative long positions for Tuesday, but make no mistake about it. I love the setups. I think the setups are proper for potentially outsized rewards to inherent risk ratios. But overall, they're all sketchy, very, very, very sketchy. So let's actually start out with the highest quality one. Photronics, Plab. Plab is an ex cancellum quality stock that is no longer. So initially, because the market hasn't had a market-wide 20% end-of-day sell-off or correction since whenever, <laughs> I can't remember the last time that happened, um, I don't re-update my cancellum scan. So Plab is still in there. So it was initially found in there. And this stock has come up on a few other occasions in my um, tertiary scan that cancellum scan I talked about, and other various scans. So I'm familiar with seeing this chart. So today, it actually had a pocket pivot point signal on well above average volume with a nice surge in BOP, and it's clearly grinding out short-term higher highs and higher lows. You have a candle over candle bullish reversal price bar with that volume and BOP. And overall, a very nice basing structure, especially coming off that gap up the gap down low in November, but I had a feeling that earnings might be coming up on it with the stock this nice, and sure enough, it does. However, since the chart is this nice, it does look like it was completely washed out in November. I'm willing to poke a little bit to give it a shot. And the reason why is because sometimes with a really nice chart pattern, these earnings buys work. As you can see with soda, I bought soda ahead of earnings. And one of the reasons why I did was because it was a very, very nice chart. This is what it looked like. So this is the signal I got. And on that day, I just didn't see how I could possibly pass on it. So I took a reduced position and sure enough, it worked out. So it doesn't mean that PLAB is going to work out. But I've seen this chart pattern enough in my career that to me, a small position is worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and put half, half. 0.5% of 1% my account capital and PLAB using a limit order 1160 because it is touching the 20-day moving average. My first cut loss level will be just below 1125 and my final cut loss level will be 1112. I won't let it go below these lows ahead of earnings. Now if it moves up higher and then gaps up in earnings, great. If it moves up higher and then gaps down in earnings, you know, I'll take my loss. I don't think it's going to be a gap down like this. I think this was the washout gap down. And there's just been a lot of accumulation. There's a lot of pocket pivot point signals in here. And there's no distribution, so I think it's worth it. So PLAB, that's the higher quality one. That's the game plan. And then for the speculative ones, SYN. This is an oversold RSI turned momentum RSI swing trade following a positive earnings report. So SYN's earnings, they weren't that great, but guess what? Somebody out there had a very large position expecting that it was going to be worse. So you get the gap up on earnings. The session before, we had a technically a successful test of those 52 lows with it when it went below 49 and closed at 52. And then today, we had a successful test of the 49 lows when it tested 48 and rallied all the way back up to close at 54 on above average volume with max green bop holding and a pocket pivot point signal. So a reversal handle candle following earnings. Want to go ahead and try to swing this, you know, potentially to the 50-day moving average, 60 cents, then 70 cents. I would want more, but I have to be realistic. And the problem with this one is, for everybody, the final cut loss level should probably be 48 if you decide to play it. But for me... You know, I'm hoping that this thing can fly past the 50 and fly past these old highs and maybe try to challenge the 200-day moving average. We'll see. I'm Like I said, it's a runner, and that's why I'm only putting a grand of my account capital into this position, and I'm not putting ten, one hundred thousand dollars $100,000 into this kind of stock because I would never do anything like that. But I love the pattern. I would hate to pass on it and see it worked. I did that this weekend to CCIH. Got a clear oversold RSI curling up signal with MACD and MACD histogram confirming. I did not take it as a new long position. It moved up 9%. So I would hate to see that happen on SYN, which has the MACD and MACD histogram confirming the momentum of the RSI index. So we'll see if it plays, if not. But I like this chart pattern. Rather take it and be wrong than not. And then there's MSLI. MSLI is not only an earnings winner gap up, but there's a uh, 
an agreement and then another catalyst. You got to go check the news wires. I checked it a long time ago, way before I made the, made this video. But there's quite a few things happening. So with that huge volume surge gap up on the earnings and the agreement that they entered, MSLI is an earnings winner. And so I figure if we just use the recent 117 low, and that's keeping it very tight. I mean. The, the goal is for this stock to continue to blast off higher, maybe get around 125 plus, then pull back and reconsolidate, and then ultimately holds the 117 lows. But right now we're off to a bad start after hours. It printed at 114, but it was just one trade, so I'm not going to pay attention to it. If it's gapping down, though, if it's indicating open below 117, for example, the bid's like at 111 and the ask is at 114, the trade is off. But if it's going to open above 117, I definitely want to try to give this shot a shot as a huge potential runner. Now, saying that, like I said, I'm looking for it to be a huge potential runner. But at the same time I say that, the odds that something like this fails is significantly high. So once again, a very small portion of my account value I'm going to have a tight stop. If, if I get filled at 119, I'm out at 116, so I risk three cents. Um, it's not going to hurt at all, especially whenever I only put probably a few grand in this stock. I can't see me even putting really a full. I'm going to try to pull, put a full percent of my account capital just because the risk is so low. But I know that the odds of this succeeding is very low. I mean, look how extended it is from the five-day moving average. So, you know, this is expecting a big runner. So like I said, nothing too impressive, but very nice short-term chart on MSLI and SYN. So I have to take it and then PLAB, nice overall intermediate term chart, but earnings are coming up. So once again, nothing of quality. Didn't flag much else despite the nice session on Monday. So we'll see if we can follow through on Tuesday. The long positions are looking really great. Only had three full sell signals or three sell signals on an end of day basis. CYD was one. CBL failed, and then EVI was the other one, and EVI cut through two of my stops. I had a quarter of my stops here and half my stops here, and it cut through both of them. So now the new stops is half here, the final one here, final stop here, here, and then CYD, no longer have a position. I just would probably at this point, with the way this chart looks, this would be my final stop right here, this low, 16 83 actually so i would just use today's low a day as the final sell stop it's completely rolled over there's a ton of distribution i wouldn't want to be long the stock anymore and cbl uh tried the bounce attempt again tried it here failed tried it here i was knocked out on friday intraday when it went below 789 but on an end of day basis it failed but once again small losses so those were all the end of the end of day signals on monday great luck in your trading today everyone